Greetings everyone. Vanu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 14th December 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that High Court does not have the power under Article 226 of the Constitution of India or Section 482 of the Code of Criminal Procedure to direct investigation to be conducted in a particular manner. The court has extended the interim order of house arrest of Bhima Koregaon accused Gautam Navlakha by one month that is till the second week of January 2023. The court has in the matter of compensation sought by home buyers of Supertech Twin Towers directed the disbursal of 1 crore rupees that had been deposited by the interim resolution professional of Supertech Limited to be distributed to the 15 home buyers who are the applicants on a pro rata basis. News highlights from the high courts starting with the delhi high court the delhi high court has held that the employer cannot withhold the performance bank guarantee after acknowledgement of the due performance of the contract by the contractor merely for securing the amount of its counter claims the high court has directed insurance regulatory and development authority of india to call a meeting of insurance companies to ensure that products are designed for persons with disabilities in terms of circular dated 2nd june 2020 so as to enable them to obtain health insurance coverage the high court has directed telecom regulatory authority of india to expedite consultations with stakeholders for recommendations to the union government on proposed regulatory framework for over the top services also known as ott services like whatsapp and facebook messenger news highlights from high courts in other parts of the country the bombay high court has granted guardianship of a muslim minor to her biological parents after she was deemed to be an illegitimate child as a result of being born out of marriage The Allahabad High Court has directed state's principal secretary home and DGP to take necessary steps so that criminal history of an accused is available in one stroke and asked authorities to fix responsibility of person responding in courts for disclosing entire criminal history of accused. International news highlights. The New Zealand Parliament has passed a legislation to ban future generations anyone born on or after January 1st 2009 from purchasing tobacco and also includes a ban on selling tobacco to them any violation of the same is punishable by fines up to 150000 New Zealand dollars which is equivalent to 95910 American dollars this concludes the news for today thank you so much